Hello. So thank you for joining me in this tutorial. So here we'll be um, talking about how to like uh, build a work circle. So now I've, I've set up some spots. So I just brought this in just like the normal way I, I've been bringing my reference in. So with this now, we can actually start uh, that animating. So I think some of the things you actually consider when, when you are you are posing as your character is you want to co uh, consider your silhouette so that the silhouette is that uh, if the black cut everything will you your posterior read then your line of action also it also also matters a lot so uh, mostly people yet like using especially for line of action they want it to flow into each other uh, like in a jump now you may actually want maybe some c and reverse c curve so with that uh just put those thoughts in mind, like when you're blocking out your animation, you always want to reverse your, uh, try as maybe to reverse the, that's this as much as you can, or that's to give you that kind of look, or the opposite way. So that kind of stuff. So in this tutorial, we'll be uh, building a work circle. So now, uh, this now is on six. So we can start with our contact here. The form in your pose is just like our work circle. You construct your 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 contact, your down, your passing, your up, and your contact again. So those are the main poses actually that you need to build a a, a round circle. So with this now, we can build our contact first. Then we'll build the rest as as we go on. So we can see here that starting this now, you can see that the hips is high here, lowest is at the lowest here, this one second to the lowest, then it's going up again, that's going up again, the passing is high, then the up is the highest, then going back to the contact again. So we should always take that, uh, like notice that in our reference, especially what the hips is doing. So for this one now, we can just move this down that's a bit, then we'll stretch the leg, so this one also we take it back then we rotate we turn this forward so then we just try take it like this so can I still stretch this so we can rotate just press three to make sure it's not going to the ground. Then let us check and press one to see if it's actually balanced. I think it's balanced here. So that's it for this pose. That's it for this pose. Let us deal with the lower part of the body before moving to the upper part. So let us select all and then set keyframe. So he, I mean, my key here, I have the location, rotation, and scale selected. So you can pick just location and rotation, it doesn't matter. So then the next one I'll, I'll do now. So after, on doing this now, we can just copy this. Now select all. Then we we'll copy this. That's leaving the main control here. We we'll copy this. That's co copy. Then we'll go to seven now which is the opposite, then paste flipped, then we can still copy this, that's, uh, that's shift D, then we'll move it to, I think, should be, is it 13? Think, and is it 13? I think, it may, I think it should be maybe 15. I think it should be 15. So, with this now, we'll, that's view the contact is I see. No, I think it should be thirteen. Yes, thirteen. So with this now we can see how the leg is going, right? So uh, when I checked uh, my reference uh, so I I actually uh, used one with a video reference like that. So I noticed that looking at this now the leg is actually that's 
at the uh, backward the most at the contact then when when you get to your nash I just step into it when you get to your contact the the back leg here is already moving backward and uh, moving forward so we can see it's already moving forward so it's not like a a walk circle where maybe you're down now and the leg will extend backward more no it's not like that so here now we'll try to replicate same thing here that's at the down pose now we move this down then we rotate this press out to make sure it's on ground so take this and make sure it's on ground so and maybe move this down more and for this take it here then we rotate it backward let's take this forward sorry so let's take this forward so now switching between the first and second now these I see so we can even drag the tool here sorry yeah that's the tool here we can just drag it backward so so here we can maybe take this backward a little so on the as we've done our contacts now so we can just uh, select all okay then we, we copy and uh, that's copy then move to the next one here then paste flip so just so yeah i think we actually copy this also so we can just remove the keys on this So we can see it's already uh, forming up. So we can now do our passing position now. So our passing position now is it's on four. That's the passing position. So uh, this leg, so it's on four. So this leg is moving back here. us for here so we can or we can just copy this sound to note this position that's press three so we can just copy this shift D and take it there then we'll move it back to that place then we increase this row here then because it's the passing now we move this up move this up so we can see this is rotating to another side which we don't want so uh, I'll do it uh, so return this looking at this now that's our contact so our passing so I think we can move it up more so we can move it up more then um, this one can actually move it forward a little No, I think it's too much. So oh, we can still lift this up a little. So now after this, we can now build our apples now, which is at five.
just five layers, select all, then set key on all. So with these now we can now build the fifth one, which is we want the leg to still be on the floor here. So you can use more bit. So we can maybe still move this backward. Then we increase this. We don't want to, to stretch me if not to get some pops. So we can see how the pose is coming together one after the other. So we can so now on doing this now we can just select all then we'll copy um this one that's this i think we've done that already but let's do it again copy in case we made a mistake so paste flipped i think we'll copy the wrong one so here copy then go to it then paste flip Yeah, we are only selecting this. So, and I select all. Then we'll go to four. Now so we copy. Then we we'll paste here. Paste flip. Oh, not again. Remove this. So we'll go to four. Then copy this. Then paste it here. Then we'll move to the next one. Copy, then paste flip. So, so we can see our our round circle uh, it's coming up. Or uh, maybe if we fill it too fast, we can actually just add uh, some frame in between. But let, let us finish the whole animation and uh, some uh, part of the the posing or the posing that will add more time to it. So maybe we we'll just increase z one one after the other so with this one now we can move to the upper part of the body we can bend so we can bend this place up oh, but before we move to the upper part of the body we actually forget to admit this so you, you want to treat this in such a way that x sorry so x to cancel so we want then this one also so we want to treat it in such that whenever the leg is here, uh, it should extend most here. So we just rotate it like this. So we can copy this, copy, paste, flip, then paste, Let's paste, pose. So we can see it's actually looking better now. So also in terms of the passing position, you know we have a passing position that's at um that's the fourth frame. So here also we can we can do it in such a way that this leg is actually the highest here. So we can bend it like this. So it's like the highest on the passing, then we copy this, then paste on us the paint, which is the uh, the down here. So paste flip. So you can see it's looking better. So after that, now we can even put some uh, that's uh, some X and uh, that's X. This X location we can actually let us go to our graph editor for that, so we don't make any mistake. So you can just check the X here, AF. So make sure that you, your view, then you have this selected. So you can go to just the X, A and F to zoom in. So really we can just delete everything because it's messed up. So we can set the key here, set the key here, with seven set another key. Then now we want to do in such a way that the passing here now, which is the fourth one now, Want to do it that it to be highest now at this point. We want it to be balanced. So since this leg is up, the the weight now shouldn't be distributed evenly 
on the same leg. So we want you to be balanced on this other leg here. So we can just press one and that's press one. You can see we want it to favor this other leg here. We want the weight to be on this leg. So we just push it forward like that. Then we can copy. Now just copy. Then we'll go to then we, uh, okay or we'll, we'll just copy here. Copy pose. Then we'll go to and that's I think the tenth one then paste flip. So we can see now it's actually looking better. So we can if you feel maybe the X uh, translation is too much, you can actually reduce it. So if we feel it ours is too much now, you can just do something like maybe we select all this curve, then we press scale, then on the Y axis we just scale it down. So we can see it's reduced, but if you want to reduce more, reduce it more, you can actually do that. So now let us start to going for the upper part of the body. So let us go back and to timeline. So now let us select everything above this body here. And let us delete this key. So maybe let us delete this also. So we want it to be in such a way that this body should rotate with this. That's an opposite direction. So it should be something like this. And also, you want to rotate it down here also. So, you want to do something like this. So, this rotated X now, let us check it on um, the, yes, let's check it on this. So, just let us cancel all everything else on this. So then let us go back. So for this one now, we can now uh, post this and if you want it to follow here. So we can even bring the, the shoulder, we can rotate it forward. Then this we, we take it down. Then we rotate it. Sorry, we rotate it backward. Then this, we can actually bend it. You can actually bend it. If you like, you can actually pose the hand. Maybe uh, you do some, something like this. You just coil this in. So let's switch to it. So we'll do the same also for these other and so you can just copy this to copy and also for this one also. If you like, you can actually maybe okay. Let us bend the thumb. The same for this also. You can bend this here and bend the thumb. So you can just copy all this control here. Then you copy this one also. We select this one with control. So you can just copy this, then that's control uh, shift D, and we'll paste it here, and shift D, then we'll paste it here. So you can see it, how it's looking now. So for these now, we, we can, I think we can rotate this shoulder backward, then maybe bring this on back a little bit so it's not too. So with this now, so we can copy, we can just do something like we we'll copy this whole body now here. So we are having this selected. Let us remove it. 
so we we just copy this now we copy the post then we paste flip here then here we paste so you can see how it's moving right so you can see it's actually coming together so now we can now on our path now we can now add sorry we can now just take this down And take it down we can even drag this more so it's not going at the same speed so the same for this opposite side also you want to make sure it's lower and lower then what they see just take this We do that also for this other hand here. As on the passing, we want it to follow the. So, we take it down, then we can maybe take this over. So, we can actually, because it's going backward, we can actually favor the front pose. So we can favor where it's coming from. We can still bend it. Yeah, we can bend it more to drag. So because it's going back. So here that it's going front, we bend it. As we bend this, then we bend it more. Then we can favor the previous one. Maybe the hand is still somewhat extended. Now coming from the this back here. So I don't think we actually include that here. It's coming that's forward. So we can break we can break the hand. So it's still like coming back. So even this one also we can maybe take it back. So when it's going back here. That's at frame 10 here. Yeah. So we can favor the front pose. Or even this one also will favor the front pose here. Yeah. So we can see how the animation is looking already. So we if we feel the timing of this is uh, is too fast, we can actually adjust this to something better maybe slower so you can just decide to like add extra frame here and that's g move this by one then this g by one then this g by one then this one also then this then we'll do it for this then this then this so everything on 21 so yes at 21 so we can see it's quite slow. So, but it's like it's eating a wall here, right? So we we'll, we we'll do a uh, do the clean up as as we go on. So, but here now we want to make sure that this leg actually collapses faster. So we don't want it to cushion into that that side. So we can make it collapse faster than push this back then we actually remove this because it's just getting to the ground so we do that also for this one on the next frame we just auto that then we remove everything and make sure it's actually very close to the ground so for the head now we can now show some dragging here on the head we know that the contact that's we know that the the down is on three so we can do it in such a that on four now the head is still rotating downward then when it's going forward now that's when it's going up we know that the the 
top now and that's the highest point this is the highest point this is the contact okay you know that okay i think the highest point is at it so here you can actually still drag the head a little bit then go back up then when it's coming down here so this is the down here we can maybe before it goes back down we can drag it up so when it's down maybe when it's going back up we can just be looking down if it's too much you can actually take it off so so let's play this so we can see how it's looking although we can go to the graph editor and and that's AF then if something is not right here so we can like this now we can just take this or the little so check that way on the X X rotation so we can take this sorry AF so just like this here you can just copy instead of doing something in here so we can just copy this that's one two so we have the so we can do something like one two so let's do the same thing just paste it so you can see how the head is so but in case you feel maybe it's too much you can always just press x then scale on the y like this so it's actually down goes lesser so we can see how it's looking now so uh this is the part one of the tutorial in the next one we'll actually uh, refine the old animation and give it more life thanks for joining me see you in the next one